So, in the recent developments with the Emoji Bomber statue, one of the developers, Dex, has come out and posted this in the server to basically bring everybody up to speed on what's going on. And I'm doing the same thing with this video. Just going to read this out loud to give everybody an understanding as to what's going on. So, let's do it. Questions you guys might have. Why are you making this? Well, an idea was had, and since I do visual effects and skins for the game, it gave me an opportunity to code a very powerful skin shader that can be used to make all sorts of future skins and even improve older skins, not improve with emojis, just overall visuals. Okay, but why are you making something I personally hate? I'm sorry, I should have thought of you. And I often do when I'm 11% into booting an idea that doesn't have a solid endpoint and isn't meant to be seen, but this time I messed up. That's on me. And further context, Brock himself did say that the emoji statue was not meant to be public, but it was released by mistake in a version that they pushed out to the public beta. And then moving on, whatever. Why is this color like a rainbow fell into a blender, which then itself fell into a second blender? Well, as I test this shader and other shaders I'm using, I need textures to visualize stuff. And sometimes I just use random textures. So adding on to that, I actually did not have an issue with the color of the statue itself. The only issue I had was the emoji because it did not fit. And me personally, it looked very cringy and my opinion remains on that. I don't, I don't like the way it looks. And if it's something I don't like and I think it's worth making a video on it, I'm gonna continue to do that. That's not gonna be changing. But just to clarify that, I have no problem with the statue color. It was the emoji that threw me off and made me upset because as an outsider who only knows what progress is being made to the game in the form of public updates, knowing that the game has all these problems and seeing a bomber emoji statue put me under the impression that time was being wasted instead of being actually developed on fixing the game and improving it, which he did talk about that, but I couldn't get the full message in one screenshot. I had to take two of them, so we'll read up to that point. But moving on, why have goofy emojis and statues of personality at all in this stick figure game that's aimed at kids just having fun? Good point. I was way out of line here. So is this going to be in the game for real then? Maybe. I'm still in the testing stage and I cut a lot of skin ideas and other effects in the testing stage. I'm constantly trying new things to make the coolest stuff for you guys. Even the stuff you hate, I try to make look cool. Well, if, what if I still hate it when it's done? We plan on releasing it with a brand new feature where you aren't forced to use or buy skins that you, hold on, I, we plan on releasing it with a brand new feature where you don't, where you aren't forced to buy slash use this or any other skin if you don't want to, but other people can still use it. That's true. But if you're good enough, you can show them how much you hate it by beating them and destroying it. And you know what? That's perfectly freaking fair. I can't even refute that right there. And it definitely goes to show how much I overreacted when making that previous video, but it's something that I do. If I don't, like I said before, if I don't like something, I'm going to make a video talking about how much I don't like it. That's the reality of it. And that's also not going to change for me. But now that some context is being released on this, I am willing to admit when I've gone over the top and aim to change that. And now for the last point. Well, if you're making this, that means literally nothing else in the game is progressing or being built, right? An understandable misconception. Fortunately, we have figured out a way to work on multiple parts of the game at once. And this is just a side piece to everything else that's constantly being worked on. And there you go. That solves all the issues in my book. Initially, I did think that all the time and resources was put into making an emoji bomber statue instead of working on all the other issues in the game. I have learned that that is not the case by Dex posting this message, which cleared a lot of things up. With that being said, I can once again admit that I might have overreacted with that previous video and been over the top. However, my opinions on the statue do not, did not change. They won't change. But at the same time, like I said before, I can be the bigger man and admit when I made a mistake as well. But that wasn't the purpose of this video. The purpose of this was to bring everybody up to speed on what's going on involving the game itself as a whole 
and that emoji bomber statue. It's not a finished product, and when it gets finished, it most likely will not have an emoji face on it that doesn't look like it fits at all. So yeah, there you go.